Why should I tie myself down? I'm young. I don't need a bowling chain. I don't agree. Now here's how I see it. Hey, are you guys talking about marriage? N not with each other, I mean, but you know, with your respective girlfriends. Oh, that was close. No, I was just considering buying a ball and chain. But you know, it's actually not a great idea when you think about it. But on the subject of marriage, I don't know. But maybe someday when it's right, I'll pop the question to get a sharp. And maybe someday me and Millennium Gigon will have our very own ceremony, complete with beautiful floral arrangements, and Mr. Michael Mc. Donald, what about you and Biolante? Oh, we're already married. And we have a kid. Jaw drop. When did this happen? We got married about a year ago. And the kid came last week. Why do you look so surprised? Oh, look, here they come. Just taking our kid out for a walk. Who are those audacious enough to stare at baby? These are my friends. This is Pagan. Most pleased to meet you. And Gigan72. Yeah, not age. These aren't who you promised to show me. These aren't them at all. Remember our agreement, Dad? Daddy, Daddy, show me the wonders of the world. Well, there's the Hanging Gardens of Babylon, the Lighthouse of Alexandria, the Great Pyramid of Giza. No, no, what I mean is show me your seat of government. For the whole planet? Well, I guess we could go to the next Bilderberg conference. Or would you prefer to visit a G7 meeting? Not your creepy puppeteers that lurk in the shadows. Just take me to the leader of this island. All right. I could take you to the mayor of Monster Island. That would be splendid. Ah, 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 ah. You promised, Daddy. Hold your horses there, Celebi. Celebi? Where did you get a name like that? Um... I think we should name her after my great aunt, Celery. Well, I think we should name her after my Aunt B. Ah, a portmanteau. Yes, yes, a pimento loaf, whatever. Show me the seat of your island government, or there will be dire consequences, up to and including more frequent changings for baby. All right, don't get your precocious little voice all in a tizzy. Scotty, to the mayor's office. That teleporter was fun! Heisenberg can just go eat a hamburger! Well, hi there. I'm the mayor. My name is Jimmy Kamakaris. Peanut farmer, former president, and a believer. After all, I am a praying mantis. Yo, step down and give me control of Monster Island! I command it! Now, you're a sweet kid. Tell you what, why don't I give you a peanut butter cup, and you can have your picture taken with a Nobel Prize winner? Me. Is she old enough for a peanut butter cup yet? You don't realize just how old I am. Nor do you realize what my true intentions are. Dr. Baragon says she's the equivalent of a four-year-old with the mind of a 35-year-old megalomaniac. How that happened in a week's time, I'm not sure. But I think a peanut butter cup would be okay. No, I don't want a peanut butter cup. I wish to rule you all. Nom, nom, nom. Oh, this is quite delicious. Need for domination, subsiding. No, about to reveal whole truth. Ah, mommy... Daddy, you're not married, and I'm not your daughter. That explains why I don't remember your conception. I have used my psychic powers to fool you into this whole charade. But you guys are super nice. Would you be up for adopting a sweet little girl like me? Sure. Eh, why not? Excellent. The second stage of my exquisitely brilliant plan is in full of... Fact. You know, you should really try thinking to yourself more often. Duly noted. Now silence! I mean, um, take me to the circus, daddy! I would ugh, like to see the lions and tigers. Okie dokie. Yes, yes folks. folks, the celebrated acrobaticus is performing his feats on this fine Saturday. Oh wait, his mask fell off. Why, it's none other than our illustrious mayor, Jimmy Kamakaris. Is there anything he can't do? I knew it all along. Sure you did. I love you like a sister.